Today we're going to take a look at this Afery Nano 100 DC portable power station. I am absolutely in love with this thing. This has so many features and we're going to talk about it today on Ham Radio Tube. So if you're anything like me, you've got all kinds of devices that you need to charge via USB. And it's not always practical to have a USB cable plugged into an outlet and you're tied to the wall. So why not have a portable power station like this that you can bring anywhere. I have been using this for about the last two weeks to charge every single device that I have uh, that charges with either USB-A or USB-C and I have been absolutely floored with this thing. And it has one extra feature inside here that I've not seen on any other power station like this. So uh, this is very exciting. So taking a look at the front here, We've got this display here. We can see the input and we can see the output of what's going on. And we also have basically our fuel gauge there to tell us how much charge is left in the battery. Right now we're at 18%. We'll see why in a little bit. So we've got our display button right here. If the display is off, we can push that. If you plug something in, the display will automatically light up. We have a 45 watt USB-C this is an input and an output, so we can charge or discharge from this uh, port here. We've got a USB-A, and on top we have, this is, this is really cool. You don't have to carry a cable with you. If, if all your devices are USB-C, they have this little, it's magnetic here, so it's not going to flop around, but this retracts. Look at this. Let's zoom out here. Look at this. You get two feet of retractable USB-C cable. But if you don't need all two feet, you can just pull out a little bit. Here are those clicks. It stops there, okay? Then when you want to put it back, you just pull it out a little bit, flip it down into the magnet, and you are good to go. The Afery Nano 100 supports all USB-C PD voltages. It can do up to 100 watts with this guy here. So you can charge it with 100 watts and you can discharge up to 100 watts. In terms of specs, let's look at this guy here. It's a little bit easier to read. Notice here cell type, LIFEPO4, that's lithium iron phosphate. This is a much safer and much longer lasting chemistry than lithium polymer batteries that you'll find in most battery banks. Lithium iron phosphate is the battery chemistry that I use for all my ham radio stuff. Your lifespan is usually 2,000 cycles with lithium iron phosphate. So this thing is going to last a very, very long time. The battery capacity is 99.2 watt hours, which means it is TSA compliant. So you can fly, you can, you can take this in your carry-on. TSA won't give you any trouble. Rated capacity, 20 volts at 5 amps, so 100 amp hours. There's the 2,000 times cycles. Now what that means is after 2000 complete charge and discharge cycles, this battery, because it's lithium iron phosphate, will still have 80% capacity. Taking a look at the inputs here, this first one USB-C, that's this connector here. 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, all at 3 amps, 20 volts at 2.25 amps, so 45 watts max out of that guy. The USB-C M, which is this one here on top, 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, all at 3 amps again, and 20 volts at 5 amps, so 100 watts. We also have solar charging capabilities. That's right. There is a solar charge controller inside of this that we can hook up to a 100 watt panel and charge this device completely off grid. I love it. And we can also charge with a USB-C uh, car port. And then down here we have all of the different outputs. So basically it does every voltage for USB-C and up to 100 watts. It is freaking awesome and they all work. This charges every single USB device that I own. Let's show you. So the main thing I've been using this for lately is to charge my iPhone, which I still have an older iPhone that takes a lightning connection. So we can use this 45 watt, uh, watt USB-C. Go ahead and plug this guy in here and you can see our wattage ramping up. The USB-C is doing the calculation things there. 
When this is dead, I'm usually getting about 22, 23 watts out of it. It's at 81% now, so it's gonna charge pretty slow, but working like a charm. It's awesome. I've also been using this to charge my DJI Osmo action camera, but we can just use the top because we've got the USB-C cable right there. Plug that guy in. Notice the screen turns right on. Putting 20 watts, 21 watts into there. This thing charges, it's so fast, it's awesome. This is my DJI wireless mic system that I use. Go ahead and plug that in. Lights are on, it's charging. Couple watts going in there because there's nothing in there other than one receiver right now, or one transmitter rather, because I'm using them. <laughs> but it charges that. You Yesu FTX owners will be pleased to see we can use both the charging port on the side of the radio Got the red light there. This battery's pretty full, so we're not gonna see much, but four watts going into it. Or we can take the battery off and charge the battery via USB-C, just like that. Here's my M1 MacBook Air that I use for my portable ham radio stuff. Charges this no problem. Usually get close to 50 watts with this. I think this is at uh, the battery percentage right now on the computer is at 53%. 46 watts, 48 watts. It just, it does it all. Now here's where it gets really cool. When we wanna charge this thing, we can charge this quick. This is the Afri AF210, my bigger uh, home power station here. This has a PD100 output. So all I have to do is take the USB-C cable from the top of the Afri100, plug it in there, Let's go ahead and turn on the USB and watch right there as this starts to ramp up. Takes a second. We're going to see 100 watts charging there. Now, one thing to note, if this is less, is it less than 5% charge, it's going to charge a little bit slower until this hits 5% and then it'll all of a sudden ramp up to 100 watts there. Look at that. 100 watt input we can charge this thing with. So this is gonna charge in 52 minutes. That is awesome. But wait, there's more! Because included with the Afri Nano 100, you get this little guy right here. This is a USB to a barrel connector. Now, this is designed to be used with Afri's solar panel, but with a little bit of ingenuity, because this is, I don't have a solar panel that has that plug, but I've got one of these. I don't know the size, but basically I'm gonna connect a solar panel using these adapters. So this is what comes with it. I'm gonna plug this guy into here, and then I'm gonna plug this guy into here, which at the end has Anderson power poles that are gonna plug into my solar panel. So we can take the USB-C, plug it into there, and then this will be plugged into a solar panel. Let's go check this out. So here we got a 100 watt solar panel on the ground and we've got all that wiring I was showing you running into the car just so we can see the display and uh, let's go ahead and plug this in. And now we just take our USB-C cable off of the top, plug it into the solar panel there and watch here over the input as we start to ramp up and we are charging off of a solar panel. That is freaking awesome. Look at that. 80 watts, 81 watts, charging our portable battery bank off of a solar panel. You gotta love that. So there we have it, the Afri Nano 100 DC portable power station can be had for as low as $59 on Amazon, anywhere from 59 to 89, depending on if they're having a sale. I will leave a link to Amazon in the description. My name is Mike Cade, I'm Marty. Thanks for watching Ham Radio Tube 73.